So the struggle with living in my neighborhood um, is there never is any parking. I am um, babysitting my friend's car, essentially, while she's staying out of town during reno on her place. And um, there's never any parking by my place. So we had to park on the street yesterday, which is paid parking. Girl, I'm not putting a seatbelt on because I'm about to go home. Um, which is paid parking and you have to get up and move your car in the morning before you get a ticket. Well, it's Sunday. So parking is actually free in my neighborhood on Sundays. However, like I needed to move this car so it'll be parked. Um, and I'm not looking for a parking spot during the week. Plus it's nice outside and I'm right off the lake. And before I know it, the lake will be packed and there will be no parking. So I had to get up and move this car really early. I'm literally about to go back upstairs and get in the bed. I just, I just set an alarm to do this craziness. Hi, I'm gonna do an uh, grande iced coffee with uh, three pumps of sweetener and coconut milk. Thank you. I don't need a straw. Thank you. You too. So happy Monday. I'm just leaving the gym. Grab some coffee as you can see which I bought coffee like four times last week and I told myself that I was not buying coffee this week but here we are. Um, I've just been having like regular iced coffee with a little bit of coconut milk and a few pumps of like normal sugar. I don't really know what that's about. I typically just get an iced um, Americano with no sweetener, but lately I've been getting a little bit of sweetener, which isn't the best, but you know, whatever, YOLO. I don't have much planned this week. I do want to do a couple things. So, I mean, that may change by Friday. Um, I want to get my ears styled. I've been wanting to get it done for a while. Um, I don't know how many piercings they'll do at once. I want a bunch, but I at least want to start off with two additional piercings on each side of my earlobes. I don't know if they're going to do four at one time, but I'm going to call around. So hopefully I can take you all to do that with me this weekend. Also, my friend Stephanie bought a new car and it looks so bomb. So I need to make some time to try to get to her house um, this weekend if she's available to check it out. There's also a Goodwill here in Chicago that um, I saw on TikTok where they send all of like the designer stuff and I want to go check that Goodwill out really because the person on TikTok said that they have a bunch of espresso machines and I want to get one. Maybe I'll stop buying so much coffee if I didn't have to use my French press so much. I want to see if they have one that I can buy because I want an espresso machine. Anyway, happy Monday. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm annoyed. One, those little black marks on that wall drive me crazy. I used to have my dresser pushed up against the wall and it was a mirror that was leaning against the wall. I need to like paint over those. Um, that's the first thing that's annoying me. Secondly, I like started setting up, um, I was getting ready to film my luxury wish list video. Um, and both of my batteries for my camera is there and I just don't, I don't understand how. Oh, that brow situation looks weird. I have some new neighbors and they're fucking loud. You can probably hear them in the background. They stand outside the building, they talk really loud. They walk down the halls, they talk really loud. I'm just like, uh, I've just been feeling like I want to move more and more and more. I've said this, I feel like a million times on this channel, I moved into this apartment almost four years ago now. Um, it was supposed to be temporary until I found an apartment that I really want and I just was too lazy to move. And I've like decorated it and made it home, but I'm ready for some amenities. I'm ready for some walls with like less coats of paint on them. I'm ready for some stainless steel appliances. I'm just ready. So I got a pimple just out of nowhere on my forehead right here last week. I did not touch it. I did not squeeze it. I didn't do anything to it. And it still left a little mark. I don't know if y'all can see that. But there's a little dark mark right there. And I'm just like, I might as well have just picked it and had the satisfaction of pimple popping if you're going to leave a mark any damn way. Like, what is that even about? Oh, why is everything so hard this week? 
So it's Friday. I haven't picked up the camera all week because I ain't done nothing. Like, I just, I didn't have anything to share. They couldn't grass outside. I'm sorry for the noise. I did get a package today and I figured that's something good to share on the vlog. So, um, I did a little bit of shopping earlier this week. One of the packages already came. I bought off of Farfetch, so of course, right? They have the best shipping. So I bought a couple things from Farfetch and then I bought a couple pieces of art. Like I've been wanting to buy art. I was saying it earlier this year on my vlog, if you've been around um, for a while that I wanted to get myself some art for my birthday. I ended up buying purses <laughs> instead. But this week I bought two pieces. They're prints, they're not like, whole canvas paintings we're not we're not at that point yet but they are my first two pieces of like original art if that makes sense so when those come in i'll show you it'll probably be in the next two vlogs or so i don't know how long that type of stuff takes to ship but what i got today is a pair of sorry i'm looking at my email what i got today from farfetch is a pair of beach flip-flops i will be going on a family vacation in july Look, I'm hoping to squeeze something in before then. But I've had these Kenzo uh, beach flip flops on my wish list for a while. And I just happened to be perusing my wish list on Farfetch um, last weekend and noticed that there was only one pair on Farfetch left in my size. And I didn't want to miss out on them. So Monday, I just went ahead and ordered them. Um, I got a 41. I typically get a 41 in all like European, Italian sizes or whatever. So they fit pretty much true to size. I think they're so cute. They look like regular flip-flops until you look at the inside and you see that it's sort of like that um, beady like material, I guess you would call it. And they're plastic, of course, so because they're beach shoes. But they're super cute. I love them. They fit, um, like I said, true to size. So they fit really good. These were 130 US dollars. So a little bit of a splurge for some beach shoes, but like how many times have you gone and bought a pair of Old Navy flip-flops? Like I literally feel like I'm buying Old Navy flip-flops every time I go on a vacation. So in my mind, it just made sense to go ahead and splurge on a good pair of um, beach shoes. And I definitely won't be losing a $130 pair of Kenzo um, <laughs> beach shoes. So yeah, this is the first package. The second package will be here Monday. It's a pair of sneakers. It's been a while since I bought some sneakers. I actually got a pair of Axel Arigato, um, marathon runners, which y'all, I share a picture of them with my friends because I knew that they would hate them. And if I can find the um, text thread that I posted on my Instagram stories, I'll post it somewhere on the screen. When I tell you my friends went in on those shoes they hated them hated them i love them so i'll show them to you monday when they come i feel like when i style them up those of you that may not like them just off the way that they look you'll like them once you see them styled next to um some different outfits and stuff so anyway that's all i have i usually like close the vlog out like early on saturday but i think i'm gonna run it through tomorrow because my friends and i are going to go to a plant shop um i need to repot my friend's plant that I'm babysitting, Dee Dee, she is outgrowing the pot. Um, and I'm noticing that the leaves are turning yellow at the bottom. So I think that they just don't have enough room to breathe. So hopefully I can find a good pot for them. Um, and then I get to see her new car. So I mentioned earlier that I wanted to see her new car. So I'll get to see her new car tomorrow. Won't be getting any piercings. I just, I don't have time for that. Not this week, maybe another time. Um, and then I also am maybe meeting somebody for like an early dinner. But anyway, that's the plan for now. I'll talk to y'all when, when something happens. Oh, we, I told my vlog, I'll give him a little sneak peek of your new car. It's so cute. Girl, how I had your license? I love her. While we're in line, Deep River Honey Barbecue flavored chips. I always get some random chips when I'm in like a Home Goods or TJ Maxx. This packaging is hideous, but this smells just like coffee. So I am going to get rid of this pop and burn this in the morning when I make my coffee because it smells so good. 
Not really a big fan of this planter, but it's the only one that I can find with a hole in it so the water can drain. So I have to replant BD and then bottled water. That's it. What is that? <laughs> Sanitizer. So I'm just getting back from the gym. I'm about to attempt to repot this plant. This is Dee Dee. This is my friend's plant. It was her mother's who is no longer with us. I just think that there's not enough room in this pot anymore. And so when I water it, maybe some of it is um, getting drowned or something. I don't know. I don't know plant terminology. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in this pot that I bought yesterday. I don't really like this pot, but it was the only one that I could find with a hole and a draining like situation at the bottom. So I bought it. Um, so I'm gonna attempt to repot this. I have some potting soil. Um, and I'm just gonna use this far fetch box so that I don't get dirt all over my floor. I watched a YouTube tutorial. Pray for me, I cannot ruin this plant. Like I am petrified to ruin this plant, but we move. doing is like trying to loosen up the roots some because they were so like stuck together so this is what the man did in the tutorial he just sort of um, loosened the roots a little bit so they'll have room to grow in the bigger pot so that's what I'm I'm trying to do I really hope that I'm doing this right potting soil oh my god to be continued attempt to not make a mess was a failed one however we got it done I actually gave it a little clip you see some leaves over there uh, the guy in the video I watched suggested that you clip off any uh, leaves that were browning or yellowing or had um, died so I did that y'all I hope this works because as I said this is a very special plant with very special meaning and the last time I tried to repot my own plants it just did not go well but I followed his instructions to a T and so I'm hoping, I'm hoping <laughs> that I did a good job. Also, you're going to be hearing this in the background a lot in my vlogs now because it is over 80 degrees in Chicago and it's hot. And so, you know, I live in an old building. We have air conditioners, they are loud. So that is what you hear in the background. I'm sorry, I will cut it off when I do like sit down videos. But other than that, you'll probably hear the shh in the background. Just a forewarning. Come on, Dee, Dee. make me proud. Don't choose a come on, it's tonight. Time's upon it all back. 